And my base strip, so I used my first base strip, but I actually want to come right in nice and right, right in, uh, sort of deep to where those styloid processes are. And it's always uh, best to, if you, if you don't come up high enough, then it's going to leave like a window here. Now I'm going to use half strips. If the athlete had fallen on their thumb this way, then I want to pull it out away from that injury direction, and I'm going to hold it back a little bit. If they'd fallen and hyperextended their thumb, I'm going to pull it the other way without preloading it to more injury. So I'm going to secure the saddle joint. Remember the saddle joint in the thumb is a little bit different than other areas. You get this motion and you get this motion, and that's ultimately the motion you want to control. So I use three spikas, and they're going to basically wrap around like this, and I'm going to be able to control that motion. So the first strip I put down goes in the middle of the web space, and then I put the injury direction down first. So in this case, let's say he hyperextended his thumb. So I'm going to put this strip down into the hyperextension direction. Just lay it down, because I'm not going to pull it. I'm going to pull it this way instead. So I want to pull it away from hyperextension. I'm going to pull it in this direction. If I pull it too far, I end up preloading it like this, and that's no good. So I want to make sure that I'm pulling it just away so he can't move it back. And let those wrap around. This is a spica. And then I'm going to do three strips. So each strip moves up slightly higher each time. And you lay down the injury direction first. And let it wrap around. And then you can control for the rest of it. So sometimes they use this tape job in conjunction to a contact wrist, and then it kind of, you get the wrists control, and then you also get that thumb control. So you can see how much play I have here. I'm going to put it in nice and tight onto here. And then my last one. I'm moving distal each time. Here's the third one. Injury direction first. You shouldn't have any window. And then the control strip goes this way. Cute. And then I close it down. So flip. Make sure that it's wrinkle-free. You guys will do a better job. And lock her down. Lock her down. I'm going too fast. I'm talking too much. Okay. So you could always get rid of the wrinkles, right? Just make sure you put the tension on it, right? And just sort of focus on what you're doing. And if you have enough tension on it, you should be able to get rid of the wrinkles quite easily. And that's it. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So uh, this athlete can put his hands up into kind of a like a setting position, so it's great for uh, volleyball players, and you can see how the X comes through there. Okay, so that's all there is to that one.